Hey guys, what's up? It's Monica. If you are new to my channel, I am a fashion and lifestyle vlogger. Um, and today's little video is basically responding to a question that I have received numerous times, and it's how I pack my hair. Um, and this is with regards to my classic ponytail. Um, I've been doing an updo a lot lately, so this video is gonna be um, focusing on my updo and how I do it in, I think, less than 10 minutes. So we're gonna go right into it. Um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, first thing, natural hair. The texture of my hair is pretty soft, um, so I don't do a lot to it. I literally get up, work out, and then I give myself about 30 minutes to wash, slightly blow dry. Um, this is a slight like blow dry whatever situation going on and then do the ponytail and take my kids to school. This is all between like 5.30 and six. Well, now I would say, yeah, pretty much 5.30 and, and seven. And this is including a workout, getting the kids ready, <laughs> getting my hair done and taking my kids to school. So I'm gonna show you what I do on the products I use. First, I'm gonna start with the products I use so you guys kind of know what I use to make it happen. Um, my hair is pretty decent average lengthwise and everything. I do like a full bun, so I use this natural hair that I got from the Virgin Hair Fantasy. Um, I did like this huge like ponytail during my birthday um, last year, and I decided to just use a piece of it, and it's perfect because it's a perfect match for my hair. I also use this product for my edges because, you know, like most black women, my edges are a little, you know, not as full as I would like them to be, but you know, whatever, it is what it is. So, you know, this just enhances it. A friend of mine recommended this product and I absolutely love it. You'll see it work its magic. I am a huge fan of coconut oil, so I'm gonna be putting some coconut oil in my hair. This is not necessarily the brand that I always use, but coconut oil is coconut oil, so you can't go wrong. A little brush for my edges. I use this brush to kind of like, you know, just comb through my hair. Like I said, my hair is really easy and it's pretty soft, very easy to maintain. So this does the trick pretty easy. And this is with the dry hair, it's not wet at all. Use these two brushes as well. Some scrunchies and that's it. So first things first, because we're doing it up to, I'm just gonna try and get everything up real quick. I usually do this when my hair's a little wet. Well, not necessarily wet, but it's not this dry. But um, I do blow dry it out, so it's still pretty much, I, I think this kind of sums up the way that, you know, in terms of how it will be. So, do that little brush out. Oh, and hair gel, well, I almost forgot. So I'm traveling right now and I'm doing this while I'm traveling. So I put hair gel, this is very ghetto, I put hair gel in a plastic bag because I didn't want to pack the whole thing. So, but I use eco gel. So if um, eco gel I find works pretty well, so that's what I use and that's what I'm using with this. So yeah, let's get into it. Not too much.
So this is one thing that I do do when I am adding attachment because I like to do things plain and simple. I've gotten this professionally done and they do this whole song and dance and ain't nobody got time for that. So what I do is I take both ends of the piece. This is not long because I still wanted to try and look as realistic as possible. Um, so I'm not gonna add a whole bunch of hair, but like I said, I try to make it look as realistic as possible. So I take both ends then put it around from the back, crisscross over, make sure it's tight. And then this is on the inside, so you won't see that little piece on the outside. I don't know if this is better if you can see this way. But I just wrap it around, really. And then knot it. So when I pull it up, I kind of have this situation going on. And then I open up my hair too a little bit so I can twist everything together. You don't have to comb it or anything. Just, you know, twist the hair together. So it all blends in. Twirl it around a little bit. But we're not gonna finish that just yet because I wanna put just a little bit more gel to have everything laid perfectly. So here's where my, this is new, so I gotta get it open. too much good amount and it just kind of fills in those little you know little patches makes it a little bit fuller. Like you don't need a lot for the back, so just very little. I'll just use this to kind of smooth everything out. And now time to wrap this part. Do another twirl to secure it and make sure it's not going anywhere. We don't want an embarrassment where the, the bun like lifts off. And then I need another band to kind of hold it down. And that's it. Voila. Every now and then too, I will put a scarf over it just, you know, to make sure there's no flyaways. Um, but yeah, pretty much done. Oh, I have no makeup on too today, so. But yeah, I figured, you know what, let's do this. This is, I usually do my hair before I put makeup on, but we'll do another tutorial for makeup and how I get flawless skin, no wrinkles at 40. So that's how I do my top bun. Fun, clean, simple, easy, ready to go. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys are following my YouTube page. Follow oddbymonica.com on Instagram and all that good stuff. Until next time, a lot more fun video tips to come. Bye guys.